Pada hari ini, 28 hari bulan Februari 2013, Tunku Abdul Aziz Ibrahim telah diajukan soalan oleh wartawan mengenai manifesto Pakatan Menjelang Pilihan Raya ke-13 baru-baru ini di dalam satu sidang media di Tropicana Golf and Resort, Kuala Lumpur. Tunku Abdul Aziz mengatakan bahawa manifesto Pakatan untuk Pilihan Raya ke-13 kali ini sama sahaja seperti sebelum ini. Semuanya hanya janji yang tidak akan dapat dipenuhi atau ditepati. It's just promises and more promises. And based on their track record, you can rest assured that many of these promises will go unfulfilled. If I have gone so far to describe the uh, manifesto as preposterous, because obviously it's been put together by people who have never managed anything. For example, they talk about raising the, um, the income people. Just following what the government has said. But they up on the figures by the government. Now the government figures have been prepared by teams of experts in the Treasury, in the Economic Planning Unit, in Bank Negara, and so on and so forth. But what the uh, Pakatan uh, Manifesto uh, is attempting to do is, if the government says 3,000, they say make it four. Yeah. So this is, you know, this is really playing silly games. We are, you know, um, uh, we should we should take all these things much more seriously, so that, you know, uh, after two or three years, you don't get um, uh, people demonstrating in uh, Shahalan. Where is that? the assistance that you promised for a single um, for single mothers and the other people if I, I qualify to demonstrate uh, to us uh, for for some money yeah, that they promise because at my age you know I probably should get double what uh, what Khalid promised but you know these are promises these are just promises which have no way, absolutely <coughs> no chance of being fulfilled. Water, you name it, what haven't they promised? So I think, you know, we have to think very carefully whether they are in a position to, uh, uh, to deliver. Now there's one of, uh, Road, I think one highway in in, uh, in Penang, not on the island, but in um, in Subang, uh, where Guaning promised that the toll would be removed completely. It's a very short uh, road. I can't remember now the name of this thing. Today, people are still paying. So what's all this big talk? When you know, they say when we get to Putrajaya. Yeah. When we get to Putrajaya, what, what are they going to do? They are going to reduce uh, the, the, the price of cars. But they don't understand the impact of this. I have, for example, all, all of us, we have a car each. Now, we paid a certain price for our car. And then all of a sudden, if if they come into power, they're going to reduce the thing. What will happen to our car? What will happen to our car? Your car second-hand value will plummet down. Is that what you want? Is that what you want? These things have to be done step by step, a step at a time. Now, this is what experience tells us but god people have never even run anything
Uh, the, <coughs> the, the, the so-called economic expert only ran the, the rocket cafe, and even that closed down very quickly. And he is the person now who is, um, you know, uh, making comments on uh, the economy, on defense spending, on this and the other, and also on how many people should be employed by the government, and how many people should be employed in the armed forces and defense equipment. Now, all of a sudden, you know, they make all these claims. What experience have they got? Have they run anything, any large organization? Have they run big businesses? None. So if you rely on what they are saying, what they are promising, I think you're going to be very disappointed. Yeah? Three years, supposing they go to Putrajaya, but I think it's most unlikely because I've described for example, the relationship between PAS and, um, and the AP. At best, <laughs> as a three-legged race. I don't know whether you ever took part in school sports when you were small. I used to take part. And, you know, running a three-legged race is not easy. You know, because I pull him to my side. You know, he, he has lost his balance, so he pulls me to his side. Now, how can you go to Putrajaya in this fashion? Yeah, you can't. Uh, you saw a Lux cartoon. I described it as three-legged, and he improved on it by calling it a four-legged race. Uh, three people clinging to each other. And so. Now, what I'm trying to say is this. These are promises, and yet Khalid said the manifesto is not a promise now. Now I'm asking you, isn't this something quite stupid? If you produce a manifesto, that really is your plan. Uh, if you say you're going to do this and so on, isn't that a promise? Or are you doing it just you know, to get people excited, to win a few votes. Sekian berita IMR.